Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and it's time for part two of the Q&A, so let's go ahead and get this started. All right, first question, um, and John asked if I have any experience with headaches post-workout. He's noticing it from squats and deadlifts, and without reading his whole question, it's pretty long. You guys can see the question down below and everything. Um, all right, here's going to be what I'm going to say. The first thing I would try because obviously you don't need to necessarily see a medical doctor immediately because you have headaches. Now, it, you may need to come to that, but here's what I'm gonna say first of all. Number one, make sure that you are hydrated. The number one cause of headaches is actually dehydration. And dehydration is not just water, it's electrolytes. There might not be enough potassium or magnesium or something in your diet look into your hydration status make sure you're getting enough electrolytes make sure you're getting enough fluids and water every day consistently if you are not or you're sweating too much of it out this is probably statistically the cause of your headaches all right so we need to get that out of the way because that's your big one and that may be a simple fix uh, number two could be a sign of an underlying blood pressure issue, which again, your training will help with that, but diet, body fat, other lifestyle factors, you may need to look at blood pressure. Just test your blood pressure. It might be a sign that your blood pressure is elevated. Get that checked out. Okay. Uh, because again, these all contribute even with, with exertion type headaches like this. If you check all these things and everything is good you know that you're fully hydrated uh, go get your blood pressure and everything looked at your blood pressure is normal which you can check that without going to a doctor pretty easy there's machines and stuff everywhere you just check your blood pressure all right easy enough all right and if your blood pressure is high you still might you might need to go see a doctor talk to the doctor about it i mean you can look at other options first with your diet and other stuff you might just need to lower sodium lose a little body fat um all right, if it still continues, you've done these things, blood pressure is normal, and you're continuing to get headaches from training over several weeks, and it, it persists and doesn't just go away, uh, I would recommend going and seeing your doctor, All right? This is, this is a whole host of possible stuff, stuff I wouldn't even know. It's now outside of my wheelhouse. At that point, uh, seeing a doctor getting it looked at is not a bad idea it's not your lifting that's the issue probably if it's not resolving on its own due to some neck strain or something okay it could be some other underlying issue and you're better off finding out what it is you're just better that way talk to your doctor at that point all right next question i'm lanky skinny etc but i put on 30 pounds since i've started trying to gain weight i lift more I'm addicted to the gym and would go seven days a week if my body would let me. Yeah, you're going to get out of that habit real quick. Uh, am I just pushing it too much by going to the gym six days a week and doing primarily barbell and heavy compound movements? I want to try in sun's deadlift focus six days a week, but I've been told it's counterproductive since I'm bulking and struggle to gain weight now uh, that I played at 140. Okay, yeah, you're still underweight. Why are you training six days a week if you're struggling to gain weight? I'm going to scold the hell out of you. Do you see me training six days a week these days? No. Do you see any of my clients training six days a week? Do you see any of them in my vlogs? Do you understand I have 500 plus pound and 600 plus pound deadlifters who don't train more than four days a week ever? Okay. You're skinny and lanky. Follow a proper four-day program. You may even need to scale it back to three if you're struggling to gain weight because if you're still underweight still, and it sounds like it, after 30 pounds of gain, you need more food, more rest. What's, what's the post you see me make all the time? Most novice lifters train too much and do not eat enough. That's you, okay? You are under some impression that, hey, I can shorten the time frame and make better gains if I just 
do more work and go to the gym more often. No, you're going to make slower gains. You're going to make slower gains. And I only vaguely have ever heard of Insun's, but if he's got you deadlifting six days a week, I don't know who Insun is, but he is a brain dead fucking moron if he's programming this as programs for people and he should not be giving training advice. Now, I don't know who he is. I don't know what this six day deadlift focus is, but he is a fucking moron. That's all I need to know about him at this point. You do not need to be following anything he says. If this is actually a real program he has put out, I will need to investigate this. Not that I care. So, you need to follow a proper three to four day program, a proven system written by good coaches, and you need to rest more and you need to eat more. That is your solution. And you need to drop this idea that you need to be in the gym lifting six or seven days a week. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Utter stupidity. And you need to get this idea out of your head. All right. Next question and last question of the week. And this is from my homie Jackson, who we used to play Dungeons and Dragons together. Yeah, that's how nerdy I am. That's why you guys, this is why I'm good at programming, training programming. I am an ultra nerd. I have been Jackson's dungeon master. So <laughs> let's talk about his question. Suggestions on training volume for an over 30 skateboarder and novice lifter who skates for about an hour every day. Thoughts on single leg exercises opposed to conventional squat due to the nature of sport specific movements and imbalances. Uh, no, we don't, we don't need sport specificity for novices. Okay, they need to build a base. He needs to run a regular novice program. Now, because he is skateboarding over an hour every day, he's over 30, I don't recommend anything crazy. Don't run something like my, some of my novice programs. Maybe just put him on strong lifts. Put him on strong lifts, build a base on a three-day program, run out some linear progression until he makes those novice gains. He does not need to worry about sports specificity on the strength training at this point. We worry about that after you have a base. It's a waste of time before that. It really is. Build a base on a basic program. Then we can worry about sports specificity. You want to put him on something like some 531 and then put a little bit of a focus on one-legged exercises for your leg work perfectly fine. That's a viable part of the program. But he needs to build a base. If he's a novice, he has no base. Get him on the regular barbell lifts. They're fine. They'll build his base up. Get him to a respectable strength standard, and it's going to be easier on recovery that way anyways, with a, with a more minimalist type basic linear barbell program. Okay, Build his base. That's what he needs to focus on right now. But it can't be a real high volume program due to the nature of what he's doing. So like my, my Ice Cream Fitness 5x5, five five, it's too much. It really is. Let's put him on something like Strong Lifts. He'll be fine. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.